Hey everyone, I'm Armor Gaming. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Monster Legends. Welcome to an exclusive first look at Zizania. And so Zizania is the brand new elite monster. This is a metal monster that's actually available in the synthetic invasion maze. It's pretty cool that we're getting an elite monster that's available via the maze, which pretty much any single player can get. It doesn't matter what your level is, as long as you're active, as long as you log in every four hours, as long as you collect your maze coins, you're going to be able to get this monster. Whether or not you can get this monster ranked up, I don't really know because I don't know the cost at the moment. Oh, and another thing about Zazanya is that this monster does have a skills group 4 skills. With that being said, let's check out this monster's stats. So strength is an impressive 3619, life is 35588, and speed is 3454. Pretty impressive stats all around. Fortunately, I was able to get this monster with 3 slots unlocked, so I don't need to pay any gems to unlock any slots. In terms of relics, this monster can hold double traps. So, you can maybe do double ablation, if you have one of the diamond relics, maybe you can use tiger trap, you can use whatever you can best utilize. The mantis claws trap, after being hit, it worse, life is below 50%, removes stamina and deals damage. So I'm going to utilize a combination of my ablation trap, and I'm even going to use my mantis claws trap. So we're, well not level up, we're going to equip this, and then to go into this monster skills, which is what most people are interested in, because if you do happen to get this monster, you're probably going to be getting this monster unranked, Maybe you can get enough cells to get this monster rank 1. But actually, let's talk about one more thing, the trait. At level 100, this monster is has only the status effect hardened. So status effects have a 20% accuracy to land on this monster. Now, notice I said at level 100 unranked. See, the Zizania also introduces a brand new element to Monster Legends. This monster has an evolving trait. Every time you rank up this monster, well not every time, but at different increments when you rank up this monster, you get an evolving trait. You get another thing added to your trait. So actually, I'm going to be ranking up this monster and we're going to see how the trait changes and develops over time. But that's not all. Yeah, there's way more. This monster also introduces a brand new status effect known as Pierce. You can see it right here on Poison Thorn. Pierce. Status of uh, skills will ignore defensive statuses such as evasions, mirror, shields, taunts, and dodge, and area dodge. What this means is it's pretty much like a dodge area slash attack in one without having to up to without having to use a skill that removes positive effects from the enemy. That's essentially what it's doing, but it's even more than that because you're not only ignoring positive effects, you're ignoring skills, you're ignoring effects like area dodge. And by the way, it's not just status effects, it's also traits. So for example, if you're facing a worm lad and you have pierce on, you can attack the worm lad with an AoE skill. If you're facing a monster that has taunt, guess what? You can attack whoever you want. You don't need to attack the taunt monster. So in a way, pierce is, is it's incredible. Pierce is game changing in my personal opinion. Whether or not it's game changing with this monster, that's a different question. But pierce itself, it's pretty much like you have, you're free to roam around and attack whoever you want and do whatever you want. You're not constrained by mega taunt, you're not constrained by taunt, you're not, con con you're not constrained by dodge area. Now fortunately, or unfortunately, I don't know how you guys will view it, this monster does not have a pierce and then a control skill. If this monster did have that, I think that would be game changing. I think a future monster will probably end up having pierce and single control, and then eventually a monster will come out with pierce and AoE control, and that'll be deadly because there's, there's seriously going to be like no stopping it, right? I imagine if an if enemy has skill mirror, your their attack, your attacks, whatever you deal won't be reflected. If enemy monsters have evasion, again, you can you're bypassing the evasion, you're still attacking the monster, you're still landing effects. So Pierce as a status effect is definitely game changing in my opinion. Um, in terms of this monster, this monster is an attacker. So let's see, let's see how, let's see what happens. We're gonna try out different skills. So the first one I want to run is definitely Poison Thorn. So we'll do that. The next skill I want to run, let's see, deals moderate nature damage, applies poison, I can do without that, removes negative effects from itself, deals moderate special damage, gains as much life as damage dealt, I can do without that, applies pierce to itself, yeah, let's do double pierce skill, notice that both of these skills, they apply pierce, and then they'll deal damage, and then it removes the pierce from itself, so even though it lasts for two turns, when this monster does this attack, it actually loses the pierce immediately. So that's something to keep in mind, and that's that's one reason why you might really want to focus on ranking up this monster to keep the pierce from- Oh, I'm spoiling, so we'll come back to that. So, Unnatural Growth blocks all damage except the nature element, applies life regen to itself. Oh, that's cool. So, you can, you can block- Here, let's see. Do I want to remove this? Yes, I do. You can block all damage except nature attacks, and you give yourself life regen, and then deals poison. 
Wait, I think at the very top. Okay, deals moderate metal damage and applies nanovirus. Nanovirus is great. Nanovirus blocks positive effects. So this monster, aside from being an attacker, can also block the enemy from applying positive effects. So kind of helping your team out. And then we have sharp petals, which deals heavy, which deals very heavy spell damage to one enemy and applies bleed. Now I like sharp petals because, as you can see, it is a very strong skill. And these two pure skills, they're not that strong. We have a pierce daze and a pierce poison. They're not that strong. Again, this monster is an attacker monster. So in terms of runes, you want to give them some competitive high level runes. Let's see what I have to work with. I do have, I have level seven. So we'll do two sevens and then we'll do a speed rune because I want to make them pretty fast, but not too fast. I could also do team speed, but let's see what I have to work with here. I have a level 10, a level seven, which we'll is give them three sevens, lucky seven. So here is Azania. Here are once again, the relics. I'm going with the Magic Claw trap and the Oblation trap. How do I feel about this? Being able to hold double traps, I'm iffy right now. Since this is an attacker monster, I feel like a sword could have been better utilized. I feel like maybe even though he's an attacker, an essence could have been better utilized for healing potential. Double trap though, well, it is what it is. Let's take this monster out into PvP and see how well this monster performs. Ooh, and what do you know? I have so much that I can test. We already have um, we already have Elvira. We have Ragnarok too. Oh my gosh, the the middle base is perfect. I almost clicked fight. I haven't even changed my team. So let's make sure to do that. So again, he is a metal monster. We'll scroll down because he's level 100. I'll find him here with the runes. There he is. All right, and I'm going to bring these two monsters and I'm going to bring them just because they have churn transferring capabilities. And whenever I have an attacker, I like to just churn transfer into the attacker so the attacker can really dominate the game, do whatever he does. In this specific case, I have two revivers because I might need reviving. We'll see what happens. So let's attack the middle base. And we're gonna click fight and let's see how let's see what happens I'm gonna start immediately by turn transfer and see see normally I would turn transfer into oh man I got attacked normally I would turn transfer into Sammy Sammy would do pestilence Sammy would do pain get rid of get rid of all of those effects but in this case I don't need to I did unfortunately get hit with the codons activated but that should be fine so I will recharge I will recharge again and then, all right, I'm losing damage from Curse. I lost some stamina, but I can attack. And I, unfortunately, both of these skills only have a one turn cooldown. So again, this monster has damage mirror and evasion, but also the trait is taunt. This monster has damage mirror and he has the Ragnarok ability. Yeah, this monster has evasion damage mirror. So let's do, what do I want to do? So I'm going to, let's do alien spores and let's see if I can attack Elvira. So alien spores. And look at that look at that okay so the damage mirror it still reflects okay the damage mirror still got reflected here let me speed this up so see okay some questions are being raised so I still took damage taunt I was able to bypass I was able to pierce through and penetrate the taunt trait and I was able to pierce evasion but I still took damage from damage mirror which is what I'm wondering should I be taking damage from damage mirror since I'm not supposed to be right Okay, let's see, Mother Nation, and I also don't think it will be piercing or penetrating the anticipation because that honestly doesn't make too much sense. Here, let's try an AoE skill, Sprout of Decay. Sprout of Decay. Yeah, it's just attacked everyone, applied nanovirus, and I, I still take the damage. So the damage mirror will still hit me. So that's good to know. That's really good to know. Let's recharge, Brutalis Barrier, Unholy Resurrect, and recharge, Grandmaster Wisdom. So that activates my cooldowns. Those are my relics activating. And let's see, recharge. We're gonna resurrect. And Archangel's Blessing, I have my double damage. Let's try this again. So again, they have evasion. Oh, here's another one. Right now she has photophobic shield, can only be damaged by the light element. Let's see if that's true. And Megaton, so let's see what happens when I do Sprouts of Decay. So Megaton Taunt. Sprout of Decay. Oh, I don't have Pierce right now. Right, 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 right. Sorry, I keep forgetting. For some reason, in my head, I'm like, ooh, Pierce is a status effect. No, it's not. Or it's like my my thing. It's not. It's it's literally one skill. So, here, let's summon a warrior. Or two skills. Grandmaster Wisdom. Lost him. Recharge. Archangel's Blessing. All right. Ooh. Oh, I should have done my extra turn skill. Oh, I'm alive. All right, well, let's do this. And then let's do this. See, this is why I love bringing two revivers. All right, and let's turn transfer. All right, 
now oh we still can't test oh the game crashed well that's good that it crashed because honestly i was going to exit out of the battle anyhow so by the way i think i forgot to mention this at the start of the video social point actually gave me this monster gave me the gems gave me the food they gave me everything i need to make this exclusive first like video so i can do pvp battles but i gotta exit out of the battles which i would have done so with that being said um i think you guys saw enough about this monster at level 100 in my personal opinion at 100 i don't think he's that great yes the pierce concept is interesting yes you can bypass everything as you saw i still have a lot of questions in terms of what i can pierce what happens if a monster has a shield all of that stuff but with that being said i'm just gonna go ahead and rank up this video so i don't make two separate videos i'll just make one video and we'll see what i can do so here let's rank up yes and then let's feed and check this out okay check the updated traits so i now have immune to days so let's see it yeah when i go with this monster i now have immune to days which is cool it's just cool that i ranked up this monster which you normally want to rank up your monsters anyhow and i got an added little bonus and i also get new skills the first of which is ultimate fly trap removes all negative effects from itself deals very heavy special damage of empiric to one enemy applies metal weakness to one enemy so here let's just apply this for now so ultimate fly trap pretty powerful skill is it stronger than my other skill let's see sharp petals it is not where is it it is not as strong as it is not as strong as sharp petals however the advantage is i do get to recover some life i believe that's what it means deals very heavy special damage of empiric to an enemy yeah i'm gonna recover life whereas sharp petals just applies bleed so let's go beyond and rank up this monster to the next rank so yes i do go to feed and at rank 2 at level 110 this monster gets the rooting applies evasion and life regen to itself gives one extra turn this skill i love this skill is fantastic this skill is incredible you give yourself an immediate extra turn you give yourself life regen so you're basically healing by 20 percent and you give yourself evasion so you're protected even if a monster does have anticipation they're not going to be able to touch you so we're going to replace unnatural growth which by the way i also like unnatural growth because you can only take damage from the from the nature element and then we'll rank up rank three i believe this is where you get your final evolution trait which is nice that you don't need to go all the way to rank five yep there it is status caster pierce so let's check it out well let's feed this monster first oh it's big now all right we are rank three level 115 we also get nanospores nanospores applies heavy metal damage to our enemies and poison and dazes the enemies so poison will reduce their hp and damage output days will reduce their hp no days will reduce their accuracy and damage output so not bad power and accuracy reduced by 25 percent poison inflicts low nature damage and reduces power by 20 percent so yeah huge power reduction and even an accuracy reduction but going on to here skills we pierce through defensive effects again such as evasion mirrors shield taunts and area dodge so at rank three that's when you have three of the ranked up skills and you have this monster fully evolved in terms of traits again that's pretty cool here let's ring this monster up all the way so let's do this yes i do go to feed and let's see what my other skill is my skills group for skill the last one is thorns out applies pierce to itself deals massive special damage applies nanovirus so this could definitely replace one of these skills oh well i already replaced the other one this could definitely repl replace poison thorn or the other skill because it is a lot stronger i think this skill might be as strong as my other skill let's see sharp petals yeah it is so thorns out is very powerful i believe it's 65 damage and you also apply a little nanovirus which will deal some low metal damage and also block positive effects and then lastly let's just go beyond and rank this monster all the way to level 130 so rank up yes i do go to feed and let's feed up this monster really quickly yeah there's no more skills he gets at, at rank four that's when you get the final ranked up skill and at rank three that's when you get your your oh look he has a little elite this is the first time i'm noticing this if you look at the bottom of the monster he has a little elite hologram that's cool but as i was saying at rank three that's when you get the pierce at rank one that's when you get the immunity to daze and now you know all of the skills so let me see i like thorns out a lot massive special damage it, it can pierce it doesn't remove the pierce like the other skills do right if we read poison thorn removes pierce from itself with thorns out you get to keep the pierce which means you get to follow up with one of your other skills nanospores mm, it's just a poison in a daze it's not that impressive in my personal opinion part of me honestly feels like we should wait we like we should keep sprout of decay because that nano virus in the current meta is more important than poisoning and dazing the enemy the rooting i really love again extra turn evasion and life regen i love that 
Ultimate flight chart moves negative effects from itself. Yeah, I mean, let's see. So it's really nanospores that you probably need to think about removing. And then you can replace it with one of your other skills. Maybe it's worth it to keep one of these other pierce skills in case you ever run out of pierce and you need a single target. Again, the nature the nature protection is nice. But for now, we're going to go with his ranked up skill set just to see how well he can perform. Like, he's not a bad attacker. He's a pretty good attacker, right? The fact that he can attack whoever he wants with massive damage. The fact that he can life regen or he can life steal pretty much anyone he wants with pretty powerful impressive damage. And then that evasion skill. I, in terms of an attacker when he's ranked up, I like him. How many players are actually going to be able to get him ranked up? That I do not know. Here, let's tag Andy. Let's see what we can do. We have another Ragnarok and we have a Megaton monster. Let's click fight. So check this out. In a scenario like this, I'll just recharge. Where you do have this monster ranked up, and you're like, oh man, there's a there's a there's a Megaton, there's an evasion because of that Ragnarok, you got lucky. How am I gonna kill Voltic? Let's say I didn't have an anticipation monster, Voltic is gonna kill me. If you have this monster strong enough, you know, I could potentially thorns out and bam, just like that. I eliminated the main threat just like that. Here, let me churn transfer. Alright, he did Grandmaster Wisdom. Why is he always trying to me? So I am very vulnerable to single code on activated, as you can see. Can't do anything. Have to recharge. Blessing. Curse. And here, we'll do this. Oh, whoops. Okay, Masterpiece. That's fine with me. Here, let's do this. Alright, so, damage with precision pierce. So, I still can't do anything, so I'll recharge. Now I can do something, right? So, I don't have pierce, but I do have thorns out, so I'll be able to use it again. So, apply spirit to itself, massive special damage, and nanovirus. So, see, here's the interesting thing. The skill mirror wasn't reflected. As you can see, I didn't get hit again. But I the hundred percent damage return I still can't reflect that. Um so let's do let's just do pesty. Archangel's blessing. Um I don't wanna die. Here we'll recharge and then yes, I can finally re resurrect. Alright, here we go. Masterpiece again, so I get to try it out again. This time oh I don't have pierce. So let's do thorns out. And yeah, there's no reflection with skill mirror, which is it's good to know. Recharge. Gates, all right, he set up Megaton, which is perfect because I have Pierce. So normally, again, Megaton, I would have to attack Denra, but we're going to do Nano Spores. And see, I was able to attack, I was able to attack Ragnarok. All right, now let's do my extra turn skill once I get enough stamina. So recharge, recharge. I lost my Pierce, that's fine. Here, let's do Pain. Timidine Roar. Recharge. All right, so the Rooting. Blacksmith, yeah, I love that. Look, evasion, that's so cool. All right, thorns out, let's attack. Bam. All right, I'm gonna exit out before I win the battle. All right, so that was that was a little showcase of of Zizania, fully ranked up. Once you have those other skills here, let's let's get some more attacks so we can utilize this monster a little more, and then we'll call it a day. So let's see, who can I attack? Taunt, evasion, Clipium, Clipium, evasion, Worm Lad. Ah, there's a Worm Lad base. All right, so click fight, and here let's churn transfer immediately. Let's make sure everyone doesn't die. Nano spores. So deals heavy metal damage, applies poison dice to all enemies. It is an AOE skill, but this monster right here, this monster can dodge area skills. Let's see if that's true. Nano spores, and I attacked everyone. Part of me was wondering if maybe I would be able to pierce through artifact and maybe land a poison or a nanovirus, but I guess that's not the case. So there is an example of this monster just absolutely killing Wormlad, especially since I have that metal damage. And is there anyone else we can test out? Let's see. There's a Dunroll again. Here, let's refresh. There is a no one really. Let's refresh again. So I guess my favorite thing about the Pierce is that no monster is safe, right? In a scenario like this, seriously, no monster is safe. You can attack whoever you want as long as you have pierce. So at rank three, I think that's that's when this monster has its full potential, just because you can attack whoever you want without having to worry. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna have cooldowns for a long time. Well, at least until I can do pain. So we'll see what develops over that time. Sit and intimidate, forgiveness, inner beast, um, another extra turn skill, recharge, recharge, and then next turn I can do pain. I think I'm gonna have to churn transfer over to Sammy. Here, let's do this. Let's do this. And let's do a little pain. So Megatont and alright. Um OTK. 
OTK. But see, the one thing to remember is that I do have a 130 with two level 7 runes, and they're level 105, 100. So in a real world scenario, if I was facing other 130s, I probably wouldn't be able to OTK that easily. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, here, let's do, let's do thorns out, cause you're annoying. We'll recharge. You shall not pass. Words won't save you. I want to take damage. I want to. Oh, perfect. Okay, so they have a shield. Well, first of all, I can only be damaged by the special elements and damage protection, protection against incoming attacks. So he takes 50% less damage. Let's see if that's true or not. Ultimate flytrap. It says 27,000. And nano spores applies poison days. Let's do ultimate flytrap and see how much damage I actually deal. 27,000. Hmm. That was cut in half. I thought I was supposed to pierce that through and not get cut in half. Here, let's go through the motions again. We'll do the rooting. We'll recharge. Because I did have pierce on for sure. Um, semi warrior. Ultimate fly trap. Okay, see, ultimate fly trap now deals 83,000. Well, I have a damage boost. But without the damage boost. Here, let's do thorns out. And then, did I lose my damage boost? I still have my damage boost. Recharge. Yes, yeah, so I have my damage boost. Recharge. Recharge. Sit and intimidate. That's fine with me. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, it's 55. So it doesn't pierce or penetrate the damage protection? Hmm. A lot of questions I still have. And then I still... I, I gotta find someone that can do a shield. I guess I could always do it in friendly battle, but it would have been nice just to see it here. And so yeah, this has been an exclusive first look at Zizania. Honestly, if you guys want to test out this monster, you can test out this monster. I love that Social Point is making it possible for all players to test out a monster with that being said i'm not entirely sure how i feel about this monster i am super excited about pierce and all of the potentials i still have a lot of questions about pierce um but in terms of putting pierce on an attacker as you can saw in that one battle when there was a voltic and i was able to ulti key voltic that definitely helped me out especially if i didn't have an anticipation monster so i like that the ranked up skill set i really like specifically thorns out and the rooting these two skills are incredible but again you have to rank up this monster to fully get it and starting off the battle with Pierce is also very helpful, but again, you gotta go all the way to rank 3. In terms of the monster, again, I like the monster, but I'm kinda iffy on the monster. So, I'm curious to- so you guys saw the exclusive first leg, now I'm curious to know what you guys think about this monster. Let me know in the comments below, and also let me know who are you gonna be going for. Will you be going for Zizania, or will you be going for Silverleaf? Thank you very much, and I will see you all next time.